I just finished drawing up one of my favorite crosses. It's called the Florida Lee Cross. And the um, way I do that is I have a, whoop, there it is. Here's a stylus, um, which is like a pen with no ink. Uh, so I use a little ball there on the end of it, a little metal ball to draw over my pattern. Um, and a handy dandy ruler comes in real handy. And then I draw the design, uh, I trace it over to the wood using a piece of carbon paper. So I followed all my lines, I drew my design, and the unveiling of the cross. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see it? Here's my Fleur de Lis cross. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to take it outside and I have to drill some holes in certain places on the cross so uh, so then I can cut it out, cut it out. Um, but I did want to tell you the Fleur de Lis cross is very important to me. I designed it probably about six years ago after Hurricane Katrina hit. I'm originally from New Orleans and uh, my heart was broken uh, with the devastation of New Orleans. So the Fleur de Lis was something that I could make uh, to represent the new life um, that, would, that would happen, the new growth of New Orleans after the hurricane. Fleur de Lis is French. It means flower of life. So, uh, of course, most people know the Fleur de Lis because of New Orleans Saints. They have Fleur de Lis on, their, on the side of their helmets. But I love the flower of life, and I thought that that would be perfect to talk about the rebirth of New Orleans. So, that's it for now, and I'll see you in my workshop in just a minute. This is my workshop. One of my favorite places to go. It's where I feel the closest to God. So here is the um, Fleur de Lis cross that I just drew up. So I come into the shop, put on my wonderful apron, and uh, then I drill some holes in the cross so that I can cut the insides out. So. Just four on this cross, four times, four holes, four drill, drilling four holes. do that, then I get to sit at my favorite saw in the whole wide world. This is a, this is a hawk scroll saw. I just acquired it a few months ago. I was, uh, I've always wanted a hawk, but they're, um, they're expensive. They're very expensive. And um, my DeWalt scroll saw over here, I've been cutting with the DeWalt scroll saw for many years, and it's always been a really good saw, but I always wanted to upgrade. So I was really, really thankful when I met this good man that uh, offered to sell me his hawk at a very, very reasonable price. So nice that I started crying, thanking him uh, profusely for, for letting me buy the saw from him. Um, it, had all, it had been sitting in his shop for probably 15 years and had not been used. So I was really excited about that. So um, first thing I do is cut, I cut the outside of the cross out. So I'll, I'll start doing that a little bit, show you a little bit of that. I have a foot pedal down below, so it's kind of like operating a, um, a sewing machine when I cut. these come apart you know they just fit how they fit together so there we go so that goes in my scrap pile for now and now 
now I'm gonna keep cutting. So I will, I will come back to you in just a minute when I finish cutting. Okay, so here's the cross. I've got it all cut out. And I went on ahead and sanded it on my wonderful sanding table. I didn't really think you'd want to see that because it's really annoying sound. Uh, this is my favorite random orbital sander. And I love it. I use uh, three different grits of sandpaper. So after I sanded it, then um, I brand my cross. And I have a uh, branding iron that has a JC on it. So I just take the cross and I, I brand it on the back. Make sure it's the back first. Very important. All right. After I do that, I love to dip my crosses in orange oil. Um, I buy orange oil like this, and it smells really good. And the other thing I really like about orange oil is it's non-toxic. So, and this is when all the magic happens. This the orange oil just it feeds the wood and it just makes the colors pop out at you. You ready? Drum roll. That's what it looks like. So whoops, as we drip oil all over everything. So that's what it looks like. I take it after I dipped it in orange oil. I um, set it over here in a drying rack and uh, let I let the oil drip off of it into the drying rack. And then I can reuse that oil. I pour it back in and uh, use it again. So uh, that's, that's how I make a cross. And uh, God's been very good to me, and I feel very blessed. And I'm just so glad that I got to share this with you. Bye.